Hello everyone and welcome to another high elo game of Age of Empires. Today we've got a battle of the stone discounts as Mr. Yo playing as the Mayans in blue prepares to take on Hera playing as the Franks in red. Now while the players heard their herdables explore their immediate surroundings with goats and scouts of both mounted and avian varieties and try to get their butts up to feudal age ASAP, why don't we take a look at the Civ matchup that we are going to be watching today. Now, the Mayans are a civilization that pushes its players towards archer units. Their skirmishers can be upgraded to throw a second, albeit weaker, projectile, and their foot archers, except for those skirmishers I just mentioned, become progressively cheaper as the game goes on, all the way up to 30% cheaper in Imperial, which does help them mass their unique unit, the Plumed Archer. This is the fastest foot archer in the game, and one that comes with a small attack bonus against infantry, so perhaps not one that we'll see today, but never say never. Now to support your ranged units against the enemy Mayan walls are 50% cheaper, so buy one, get one free. Archers, by the way, can stay safe behind a lot of these with that discount, and your Eagle Warriors can be upgraded to get a massive plus 40 HP boost. Now to help produce and train as large an army as possible, Mayan resources do last 15% longer, and if you noticed, you, some of the eagle-eyed viewers, you'll have seen that the Mayans start the game with an extra villager, but 50 less food, which does help them reach feudal age a little bit faster so they, they can start taking advantage of those cheaper archer units, but unfortunately also means that the Mayans start the game housed with five total population immediately. Pivoting to the north, we've got Hera playing as the Franks, the OG cavalry civilization, hearkening back all the way to the last century with Age of Kings. Frankish Knights come with extra line of sight, their stables can be upgraded to work much faster, and all of their mounted units come with 20% more HP starting in Feudal Age. Ooh, <laughs> 2 HP, I bet you wish you were a uh, Frankish mounted unit in Feudal Age, no, you're just a villager in the Dark Age. Now to support their heavy cavalry on the field of battle against pesky annoying things like halberdiers, maybe even eagles if we're lucky enough to see those as well, man, I just want to see everything out of all the civilizations all the time. Well, then the Franks can turn to their unique unit, the Throwing Axemen. This is a ranged infantry unit similar to Malian Gabeto, whose range can be further increased, and instead of throwing a Kapinga, it throws a big old axe. Now, to help a player train as many Throwing Axemen as possible, Frankish castles do become cheaper and cheaper as the game goes on, 15% cheaper in Castle Age, 25% cheaper in Imperial. For the Franks to build a big, hungry, Rather to feed, oh my goodness, to feed a big, hungry, militaristic population, their foragers work 15% faster, and they do get all mill upgrades for free. These are the two civilizations I am. How do I put this without Sandy, without shout casting, without going bonko? I'm about as excited as one can be when casting and watching and just getting to experience a game of Age of Empires. And you might be asking why. I mean, we've seen plenty of Mr. Yo versus Hera games. We've seen plenty of a lot of different players on this channel, but this particular matchup, you've got the number one current best player in the world handling arguably one of the best civilizations for decades. The Franks are a powerhouse for decades. This is not a civilization that was introduced a week ago and has a paladin that ignores armor. No, uh, -uh. this civilization has been around for a lot longer than some of you have been alive. And since then, that Frankish Paladin has been just the number one OP unit um, that has built, basically built the franchise off the back of the Frankish Paladin, okay? So that's one side of the equation. You got number one best player in the world, arguably one of the top 10 civilizations of all time, if not top five civilizations of all time. On the other hand, pivoting south, you've got Mr. Yo playing as the Mayans. Now, you may have missed the last video I made of Mysterio playing as the Mayans, but I consider this to be Mysterio's finest civilization. The Mayans in the hands of Mysterio is, uh, I'm trying to come up with an analogy. It's like, um, I don't know, a pen in the hands of your favorite author. So for me, for example, it would be a pen in the hands of Alexander Dumas, the author of The Count of Monte Cristo, which I'm rereading as my favorite book. It is just a, a paintbrush in the hands of Rembrandt. This is how well I think he plays this civilization. I know it's a bit uh, exaggerated artistic. Goats running away from the scout, by the way. We haven't even gotten into the base descriptions yet. They're already in feudal age by the time I finished this ridiculous diatribe. 
but believe me when I say that Mysterio, I, in my opinion, this is his finest civilization. So this matchup, I'm really hoping, I'm, I've <laughs> I'm, I'm talking it up a lot. I'm really hoping it delivers. I'm hoping this game doesn't last 15 minutes and uh, somebody loses four villagers and they're just GG's. <laughs> I really hope that's not the case. I don't, I, 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 I don't think it's going to be. I suspect it's not. But, you know, pro players don't always play hour-long games. They don't always play 40 to 50 to 60-minute games. So I'm hoping, hoping, hoping my fingers are literally crossed right now, both at my left hand my right hand, which is why the screen is frozen. The mouse isn't moving because both my hands are locked in finger cross mode that this game lasts a long time. In any event, let's take a look at the bases as both players are now in feudal age. Both players, 21 population uh, economic. Mr. Yo building a bit of an army. Hera training a few scouts, which, by the way, now that we're in feudal, come with 54 instead of 45 HP because of that viking-esque vietnamese-esque bonus that the franks originated let's take a look at harris base primary gold off to the side but look at how open the left side and the forward portion of this base is oh he might be the one uh, who puts on the aggression here primary stone on the annoying downslope of a hill additional gold off to the right additional gold off to the left and additional stone annoyingly placed off campus but for the franks to have their five patches of gold 1750 stone secure to the back is about as good as it gets. Remember their castles recently nerfed annoyingly. Uh, of all the things the Franks needed to make them a little bit weaker, I don't know that reducing the cost of a castle by 65 stone in Castle Age was really the way to go, but yeah, who am I? Who am I to question the will? The will of Microsoft. Primary gold, four hour Mayan, very exposed to the front. This is gonna be very problematic, although not with a wall off. Not if our Frank, oh no, he's already training his commissioner, so he, he's seen the forward gold, so he knows what's what here. Let's take a look, where's the primary stone? Off to the back, nice and secure. Secondary gold, off to the left, where's the tertiary gold? Oh, off to the right as well, and secondary stone I see here off campus, also to the top left. Looks like we might have our first clash here, a few spearmen, an eagle warrior, and three archers moving forward for the Mayan, but a quartet of scouts already here where are the skirmishers they're slowly making their way here they want to sandwich this blue mayan army they've got the speed they've got the mobility eagle peels off he's already down a little bit of hp but now he's isolated himself and uh-oh there we go might be the first kill of the game it is the first kill of the game as he dies face down in the sand and now mr gets the <laughs> okay gets the hell out of here i'm not too sure what the point of all that was He's just discovered now, I guess, where his opponent's base is. Okay, Spearman attacking a skirmisher. So I made a big stink about Paladins and about uh, Eldorado Eagles with 100 HP. Another kill for Hera here. So two kills to zero so far. Uh, so far, we're seeing skirmishers attacking Spearman, Spearman dying to scouts. So the usual feudal age. Let's take a look at the forests, even though uh, by the time I finished ranting and raving about how excited I am for this game, the game's already underway. Two forests only for our Mayan on the left and the right side. But again, this is going to be pretty damn safe from Frankish raiding now that the wall is up. Even these skirmishers, even four skirmishers are not going to be enough to scare away a few villagers from our Mayan north to the south. So whereas our Mayan has left to right, our Frank has top to bottom. In all other respects, both of these bases are completely wide open. I mean, I don't know what the hell this is. I don't know what this is. This long rectangle uh, ruler shaped patch of uh, wood what are we working with here dragon trees oh you know it you know i love being right about stuff and i love being right about it and by the way not that the franks are a very wood intensive civilization but there's a lot of wood to the back of our frankish base our mayan who needs as much wood as possible just has one forest here i guess a second a little bit further away close to the goal the town center somewhere here might be uh might be well advised but for now, two kills to nothing. The players have disengaged. Both are sitting at 34, 35 villagers. Army supplies also not too different. Let's see, nine archers for our Mayan. So right now, for the Mayans, the archers are 10% discounted, which is why he's gone up comfortably to nine of them without really hindering his gold intake that much. And Hera, taking a page out of Mr. Yo's book, says, you know what, okay, you know, you're going to wall off. You're going to try to play into the kind of late game. I'm going to do the exact same. You're using gold on your left to wall off. I'm going to use stone on my right because we are nothing if not uh, mirror buddies here. And yep, both players heading up to Castle Age. 
Mr. Yo is still ahead one villager. He's ahead two population when it comes to army, but uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna say something controversial, maybe not so controversial. Does it really matter if you're ahead two or three army supply when we're talking about feudal age units? Let's see what the let's see what the tally is when we get to castle age. And let's see, does anyone taking stone? Nope. Gold seven to six for our Frank. And our Mayan moves forward yet again. He's probably wondering, uh, where's its base? I've seen a few houses. I've seen a lumber camp. I haven't really seen much else. Okay, finally discovers the stable, although he knows there's a stable since he's seen the scouts. He also knows there's an archery range since he's seen the skirmishers. Didn't know where exactly they were until now. Sees a second stable. I'm surprised Hera re revealing the location of the stable. By the way, is this walled in? I'm not too sure this is walled in. Oh, okay, never mind. There is a palisade here. Behind the chimney where Santa Claus goes down, there is a palisade. Mysterio kills a lion as somewhere out on the map. Hera has gotten his third kill. The spearman. Oh, the dastardly spearman dies yet again face down into the dirt. You zoomed in a little bit too much there. Hera reaches castle age first. Uh, not too far ahead of his opponent. Let's see what he decides to do with his advantage. Okay. Improving his lumberjacks of all things. Training a couple of knights. Mysterio is now an Imperial. No, no, not quite Imperial yet. Siege Workshop. Very conservatively placed here by our Frank. Uh, is he going to be putting on aggression or is he expecting aggression from his opponent? By the way, this Butte, did they change it already so that you can see the outline of the units behind here? I'm not too sure. Three, two, one, and crossbow o'clock as he's going to try to bust in. But these are not Saracen crossbows that come with a bonus against structures. Hera is being very, very relaxed this game. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. As Mysterio moves out on the map with even more crossbows, a second town center. Okay, so wow. Okay, you know what? When Mysterio agrees with you about where your town center, where his town center should be placed, it's not too bad. It's a pretty good day. Like uh, Ice Cube's song. It's a, it's a pretty good day. Hera also with a second town center going up to the rear. Ooh, very sour location here, but I guess where can he really put it? Crossbow's trying to get a villager. They do get a villager here to the south. We'll see. Keep an eye on those. See how many more villagers he can get for now, though. Uh-oh, he is being surrounded on three sides. And these crossbows. Ooh, they insert themselves into a nook. So Hera's going to eventually kill these, I think. But he's going to pay a pretty penny to do so. What are we working with here? Seven crossbows, four knights... Soon to be three knights and six crossbows, five crossbows. So yeah, Hera's going to take this, but we'll keep an eye on that now as a, a s s two. Oh, interesting. One right on top of the other. Two skirmishers for two crossbows, three crossbows, the knight. Doing as well as he can. But Mysterio, um, I love that he's using the high ground here. Does continue moving around. It looks like his crossbows here have also been cleared out few badly injured knights do move to the forward position. They want to join in on the main attack here as the last expeditionary force of our Mayan melts into the sands, and he is doubling down on crossbows. I'm assuming he's seen the siege workshop. No, he hasn't. I thought he had uh, his uh, crossbows here. Well, he's, he's going to know about it now as a Manganel just starts pummeling his first archery range. By the way, how many archery ranges are we working with here? So two archery ranges to two stables. So both of the players, I like it, are playing to the strengths of their civilization as Hera tries to sideswipe and attack a house. Why are you attacking a house? There's a palisade. He agrees with me as well. Attacks the palisade. But look at Mr. Yo. Look at how uh, calm, cool, and collected these villagers are in the face of a Manganel. Does lose one. Now that, uh, let that be a lesson to you, kids. Don't try to act all cool, you know? If, if, if there's a Manganel, if you're walking down the street and there happens to be a Manganel throwing rocks in your direction, you're not too cool to run away, okay? Just say no to Manganels. Ooh, Mr. Yo. Ooh, he's opening his own. Oh, <laughs> with the uh, preemptive attack round. I think he clipped a little bit of the HP. Mr. Yo's got to be careful. Okay, he's lost his archery range. He's going up with a siege workshop of his own. Hera realizes he knows there's a lot of crossbows here. Doesn't know about the monk yet, I don't think. He is down six villagers. He's down three army counties, improving his economy with a wheelbarrow, something Mysterio doesn't have yet. 
But Mr. Yo, does he really need it with three town centers to the two of his opponent? The siege continues as second archery range. Is he not building archery ranges? Is he just abandoning the archer play all of a sudden? Scouts move forward. Oh, sour. <laughs> sour. They obstruct the construction site. The hippy-dippy scout protesters say, this is indigenous land to the sand fox, and you shall not build your structures on it. They're going to run to the back. So now they're going to pull Mysterio's crossbow army out of position. Okay, Mysterio doesn't fall for it as his mangonel moves forward, but he loses his second archery range. Okay. So Hera just kind of happy to hang out here. Ooh, maybe not too happy. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Horse's ass gets poked. Horse's front gets poked. Okay. Uh, I thought Hera would be a little bit more active with those scouts, but never mind. He's uh, microing a bit more of an important battle. Oh, Mr. Yo gets a conversion on a knight, and then a second knight. Unfortunately, it's the knight that the Mangonel hit. Monk goes down. Crossbows are all that's left, but the knight, does it have enough HP to get this Mangonel? Yes, it does, especially with how many? 16 crossbows with a plus two, plus one. Uh, Mr. Yo still has not rebuilt an archery range that I can see unless uh, he's put it somewhere off of uh, flat earth here. Has no one made the connection, by the way, between Age of Empires and Flat Earth yet? Am I the only one here who thinks that's funny? There are some jokes that I make. <laughs> my wife looks at me. My friends look at me. My family members look at me like I'm, uh, I've lost my mind. But I think I'm pretty funny. Market going up. Where is your archery range? He's got one spearman, one monk, one mangonel, 16 crossbows. Our Frank... Moving forward with a band of 10 knights. Are they all here? Yeah, they're all here. They're kind of almost fully healed. They want that Magnell. They try to close, but a single monk. And here we go. The first castle of the game going not to Hera, who has eight villagers on stone, who has also, by the way, expanded with a town center of his own here. This is going to our Mayan, but how's he going to defend this against the Magnell? If the Magnell parks itself right here, it's going to be problematic. That is very annoying. He's blocked off to the left. He's kind of blocked off to the... <gasps> no! Why did you delete your own... <laughs> did you delete your own Siege Workshop? Couldn't you just go around this way? A a am I am I missing something? Why didn't he just go around to the right? He deletes his own Siege Workshop. Hera, did he see it? Yeah, Hera saw it. And now Mr. Yo is heading up to Imperial. He's got a three villager lead. So still ahead economically. Not as much as he was before. Two crossbows die monk moves forward will Hera commit to this there's a lot of crossbows and he's gonna lose one of these monk, uh, knights to a conversion no he does not rng does not work in his favor today an absolute overshooting of the mangonel here but now there's a castle the mangonel's uh peeling off to the wrong side though okay maybe the right side if the goal was to attack these knights with the mangonel and all of a sudden <laughs> 16 crossbows three survivors this is like every fantasy novel ever written a band, a fellowship, a group of friends set out on a dangerous mission, in this case, to attack the Franks. And only a few of them make it home. I should say the good fantasy novel. There's a lot of shitty fantasy novels out there. Knights doing a little bit of fancy footwork. Doesn't save it from the castle. The castle, which, by the way, has ballistics and in 30 seconds will be an Imperial Age castle. Hera will be a minute and a half behind his opponent. Actually, you know, more than like a, more like a minute and 40 seconds. Ooh, thumb ring, leather archer armor. We are doubling down on, on plumed archers. I honestly did not expect to see this unit against the Franks, but I guess the mobility it provides. What is it? 1.2 tiles a second, I think they move. Yeah, 1.2 tiles a second is a pretty damn mobile unit. Monk sniper lines going down. Hero wants to teeth one of these plumed archers. He wants that fancy headdress. Does not get it, though. What he gets instead is a feudal age Spearman, who I'm sure Mysterio is very happy to give up. And look at the plumed archers. They're just going to run around. We've seen Mysterio take down any manner of behemoth with these plumed archers. He's taken down the Sicilians. He's taken down the Goths. He's taken down the Vietnamese rattans with these guys. And look at the upgrades. We are going full on archer, bracer, conscription, chemistry, ring, uh, ring archer armor, two man saw. 
relics. Hera, surprisingly, uh, in the lead when it comes to relics. Now, one thing uh, the Mysterio does not want to do is actually allow an engagement here. But the pathing, the fact that these units always seem to stack one behind the other. Ah, <gasps> Cavalier! <laughs> Both players approaching the 120 population limit. Come on, let's see it. Let's see Frankish Paladins. Let's see uh, Eagle. Let's see Eagle Warriors. Come on. I mean, I I'm assuming these are for a Pikeman or Halberdiers. Yeah, there's the Pikeman upgrade. I really, uh, I I'm getting a little bit too greedy. Mr. Yo is really poking the bear here with a few, uh, few of these really HP low plumed archers. Although I shouldn't say HP low. They're surprisingly tanky for archers which is one of their big selling points their their mobility their attack is very low it's borderline shitty with a base of a five but it's their hp their cost which right now is 30 percent cheaper and i i don't quote me there's a lot of units i know the cost of but plumed archers i can never remember i think it's like 40 gold 40 gold and 40 wood what the what are you <gasps> here's mixing in scorpions okay one way to beat range is to outrange the range and he's going heavy scorpions as well. Halberdier for our Mayan. <laughs> Gas of the left. He wants more stone, even though he's got the secondary stone right here. I love that he's taking this very risky stone out in the middle of the left side of the map. Mysterio now sees these heavy scorpions. They are not Khmer. They are not Kamai. They don't come with extra range. But these bolts are still going to kill these plumed archers pretty damn quick. Seven range to seven. Except one unit comes with eight pierce armor. <laughs> and one unit comes with five pierce armor. One unit attacks on a nine. What is it? 16? 16 for the other. Conscription also being researched for our Frank. So both of these players want to start pumping out huge amounts of military. Mr. Yo, counter castle. Has he seen Harris? Yes, he has. How has he seen it? He's got a random eagle scouting the map. It's just a scout. <gasps> In 20 seconds, it's going to be a warrior. I'm, I'm going to stop inhaling so uh, shockingly. I, I don't know if it's uh, rough on your ears. I don't know if it's annoying. <laughs> Seven barracks. So he is expecting a massive cavalry transition. And Mr. Yo says, you know what? You're with the more mobile sieve. You've got men on horses. I've got little plumes. But I'm going to be the one who dictates where the battle is going to happen. And there is El Dorado. We are going to get to see Eagle Warriors. El Dorado is the upgrade that adds 40 massive HP points to their Eagle Warriors. And we're getting Paladins as well. Oh, 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 oh my God. This is going to be such a good game. I, 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 I knew it. I, I felt it, you know, in my plums. As Will Ferrell would say in Eastbound and Down. Uh, Hera seems to be pretty happy to just let this castle die. Uh, you're 30 seconds away from Paladin. What the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing, Hera? Okay, one trip down. Is he going to commit to this? There's a bunch of halberdiers hidden in the castle. They surround They surround the cavaliers. Mysterio, get your plumed in the castle. Start firing on the, uh, on the siege units. And oh my god. Hera's cavalier population dies right as his units turn into paladins. That was an absolute waste. Although he did get three trebs. Uh, okay, fine. He got three trebs. Siege engineers for him. So his trebs are going to have a little bit more range. A little bit more uh, pep in their step. At the same time, Mr. Who discovers another castle here. And he places another counter castle. Look at this. I mentioned uh, your favorite... Uh, your favorite painter, your favorite author. Maybe I should have mentioned your favorite composer because this reminds you of a metronome. Left, right, left, right. Tick tock, tick tock. Monsieur moves forward with two trebs, but they're exposed here. Plumes. Plumes, where are you going? You do not want to poke this bear, not with 192 HP. <gasps> Mr. Yo! Mr. Yo pulls Harris Paladins to the right as his eagle scores on the trebs on the left. I'm telling you, watching this guy play as the Mayans is one of the most fun things in Age of Empires. Uh, my channel has not been around that long, but man, oh man, do I have so much fun watching Mr. Yo play the Mayans. I, again, I think it's, just, it, it, it's his best sieve. He just does remarkable shit like that. To the right, it is Hera who is now attacking the castle, but Mr. Yo's building a bit of an army. An army, army-ish, let's call it. Let's look at the Eagle Warrior stats. They still need forging, which is going to complete right as I finish this sentence. They still need I uh, Blast Furnace. 
And now the eagles are pivoting to the right. Three of them move forward. They've got a good amount of pierce armor. Eight, why did you why did you stop? I think three eagles could have gotten that Treb. Instead, he moves forward with uh, Halberdiers. Okay, so Mysterio is being very, very frugal with his units right now as he engages on the left as well. Gets another Treb. Gets another Treb. Oh, but a bunch of eagles dying here to the uh, scorpions. <gasps> and gets a third Treb. Five Frankish Trebs. Will it be six? Will it be six? Oh my god, three HP. The plumes make it six Frankish Trebs down the t the shitter but it, i think mysterio also lost five trebs of his own here as hera now responds by moving pivoting to the right and now his castle is under siege here his castle by the way is still up he is moving forward with a treb so mr yo's castle is now going to be under attack uh these eagles hesitating i'm not too sure why he's hesitating so much with these eagles the uh, castle to the right is definitely going to fall i'm not too sure where that eagle thought he was going what is this red dot it's an outpost Hera, I guess, wants to build a critical mass of these paladins. Because I don't know. I don't think you should really be that afraid of taking a battle here, or taking an engagement. Frankish paladins are pretty damn tanky. 192 HP. I mean, I think they even win this battle. Okay, I guess we'll never know. With scorpions, they're definitely going to win any kind of battle against this much infantry, though, Mysterio. We've seen him playing as the Celts, and when Hera was playing as the Georgians, just absolutely throwing 60 Wode Raiders and uh, pikemen or halberdiers into an absolute hand cannon your meat grinder. And now Mysterio is going to be even more annoying. He's raiding to the back with eagles. I've said this before. I'll say it again, and I will die saying it. It'll be the last thing I say on my deathbed. Son, grandson, great-grandson, or daughter... If you're playing against the Mezzo Civ, wall your base, and then I'll die peacefully in my uh, in my bed. Wall off your base because the last thing you want is a whole bunch of eagle warriors <laughs> running amok, killing your ridiculously expensive Frankish paladin, and then gutting your villager count. Hera has been knocked down to just over a hundred, and now he's in the very unfortunate position of having to spend a whole bunch of resources fighting. Halberd ears of all things, but his army is huge. 44 paladins. How many in the forward position? 38 of them. And here we go. This is what I'm gonna talk. This is what I'm talking about. The Frankish Paladin is just so ridiculously tanky. He definitely needs some monks, though. These guys are down 2,000 HP. And now they're heading back. Because there is still <laughs> a band of eagles. Which, by the way, the elites come with a nice attack bonus, plus four against cavalry, which helps out. Maybe not against a Frankish Paladin. <gasps> the mob, the villager mob decides to take matters into their own hands. They say, wait a second, we don't see any army here. So why the hell wouldn't we attack your trebuchet with our villagers? We may not be Spanish, but we will get the job done. The last eagle warrior with two, three villager kills is being allowed to continue to raid. Why is he, why is he being allowed to live here? There's so many Paladins. They're, just per they're on parade move here. And Mr. Yo, just like that, pivots to the left. The metronome goes click, right, click, left, click, right, click, left. Hera, you built these scorpions. Use them. They've only got nine kills. Okay, they move forward. I think Hera agrees that it's time. He needs to do something here to stop this uh, pace setting by the Mayan. And oh, oh, oh no! Ah! <laughs> Get some good. 20 kills on these scorpions all of a sudden. And just like that, the Mayan army, as mobile, as versatile as it is, just absolutely melts to the overwhelming HP of the Frankish Paladin, who then guns down two more Trebs and retreats to the safety. But again, Hera needs more than one monk. By the way, where is this monk? What the hell are you doing over here? Trying to convert a couple of camels. Uh, okay, very biblical, by the way. <laughs> one monk in the desert with a couple of camels and a lion very very biblical paladins kind of ignoring these eagles ignore them to your own detriment because oh now there's even more halberdies he's lost control by the way Hera had all five relics something that I did not see or notice scorpion scorpions trying to catch trying to clip the wings of these eagles a bombard cannon joins in as well 
But after all of the excitement, Harris Castle was still up on the left. The one on the right was down, and now Mysterio's teefing that gold. But the one to the left is still standing 50 minutes into the game. Look at the villager kill count. Mysterio has killed 73 villagers to 11. And this is why you have to wall against the Mezzo Sieves. At any moment, a freaking flock, a convocation of eagles can appear. Hoardings for these castles. Okay, so I wonder why he's getting hoardings. Ooh, he's trying to stop the tide with palisades. And this is a pet peeve of mine, by the way. I've spoken uh, so far a great deal about my respect for Mysterio playing as the Mayans. Your walls are 50% off. You, you can build some stone walls. Oh, goodness gracious. Mysterio is to the back. Mysterio is attacking the front. I'm surprised. No, he didn't T for Relic. It must be Hera's uh, monk. I'm trying to, trying to desperately look around the map to see who is carrying this one Relic. I don't even see a monastery for Red. Who is, by the way, moving scorpions. This is very dangerous. Very dangerous. Because if that blue army can close on those scorpions, they will absolutely destroy them. And here we go. The paladins catch a bunch of eagles. But the halberdiers catch a bunch of paladins. Both players tearing into one another. The castle finally, after half an hour, falls for Trebs for our Mayan. Harris still has 40 army supply. The problem for him... Mr. Yo's got 80. Oh, there. <laughs> I'm blind as a bat. I am blind as a bat. I was looking up. I was looking left. I was looking right. And I missed it. Of course I did. We'll have seen it in picture in picture, but all of the scorpions are down. That's why I said it's super risky. You have to be microing them so well because if the infantry can close. <gasps> Well, that game just about delivered every single thing I wanted to see, didn't it? Absolutely. We got to see Elite Eagle Warriors with El Dorado fully upgraded. Look at this beast of a unit. A lot of talk about it, the Armenians with Ferritors, 100 HP champions. And sure, those will kick this eagle's ass left, left, right, and center. But look at this 100 HP eagle. Nothing compared to the absolute stunning beauty of 192 HP Paladin. No more plumed archers for Mr. Yo. The name of the game now is Raiding. And by the way, Ghost Town. The entire rear of Hera's base is done. Nothing will grow here, says our Carthaginian Mayan as he salts the sands. Wow, so Hera has no choice. He's got to expand westward. But look at it. He's been knocked down to 77 villagers. His army supply, 34. I mean, again, 34... Uh, is not bad when 31 of its paladins. But let's see what their HP is like. They're down still 2,000. Usually Hera is amazing at babysitting his uh, units when they're injured. He usually has enough monks and enough time between battles to at least get the HP up a little bit. Because if you can keep these units around, 54 kills on them is not bad at all. Not bad for a paladin at all. Uh, if you can keep them around, there's just the cost effectiveness is through the roof. But look at the resources. Hera's broke. Mr. Yo, having taken the castle down, now gets the gold here. Is almost at 2,000 gold. Oh, man. There's that. There's the gold for the Eagles. He's expanded westward as well. He's expanded eastward as well. He doesn't care. This is exposed. Not really, because Hera is busy dealing with Mr. Yo's shenanigans everywhere. He just, from the beginning of the game, dictated the pace. And like I said... The Mayans in the hands of Mr. Yo is just an absolute work of art. 167 halberdiers, 125 paladins for the Franks. I still think the Franks beat this one-on-one, -on -one, by the way. PKPM for Mr. Yo, middle of the game. PKPM for Hera, usual 2 to 300, right towards the end of the game before literally Mayan shit hit the fan. Up to the north, in the center. Where, oh, where are the scorpions and why were they left to fight infantry on their own? Again, on paper, in theory, if you think about it, scorpions versus a mass of infantry is absolutely fantastic. But if that infantry can close on the scorpion, buy, buy scorpion with that minimum, ridiculous minimum range. They're not Roman scorpions, I'll tell you that. Let's take a look at the economy. Wow. Less than 10% difference in economy, although a good chunk of that is due to Hera having all five relics, even though he only ended the game with two. Let's take a look. He had a, a little bit more food. Monsieur, a little bit more wood, a little bit more gold, a little bit. So Monsieur just had a little bit more of everything. 
and Hera just had a lot of bit more of relic gold. Three conversions not playing a role. Building raises three to... How is this three and this is four? Oh, because Monsieur... No. Hera... Hera destroyed four buildings, but Mysterio lost only three? Did Hera destroy some kind of neutral building out on the map somewhere? Uh, okay. Maybe somebody in the comments knows why that discrepancy exists. Kill count for such. I mean, I would call this a medium length game. Under an hour is anything over an hour, I would say, is a pretty long game, but 325 kills, 263 by our Mayan. No surprise there. I mean, the, the Frankish units are just tankier, more HP, harder to kill. The Mayan units are just, they're designed to die. The Halberdier doesn't exist for a uh, for a long time. It's here for a good time. And no wonder our Frank has the kill lead. But look at the villager kill lead. Almost 100 more villagers killed by our Mayan. Our Mayan killed 160 Frankish military. So our Frank actually killed almost double the military count of his opponent. Wow. I would have loved to see some throwing axemen in here. That eagle melee armor is absolutely terrible with a zero base. That's camel rider level shit. And so a few throwing axemen may have helped, especially against the halberdiers. But instead, Hera wanted to brute force his way. Unfortunately for Hera, he just let Mr. Yo dictate the pace of the game a little bit too much. And so we saw metronome click left. We saw metronome click right. Metronome click left. Metronome click right. And then metronome click center. Metronome click black. Blah, 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 blah. A lot of uh, talk of metronomes. All of that is to say Mysterio absolutely dictating the pace of the game. And with that, he just rips Hera apart in multiple locations with the absolute Mayan beast of an army. First, it was uh, crossbows. Then it was plume. Then it was eagles. Then it was halberdiers to help stop, at least soften up the paladin HP. And Hera just, yeah, down 2,000 HP. You can't be down a third of your HP if you're fighting uh, trash units that are counter to your unit. You just can't be down that much HP, and he just didn't heal his units. I love that he got all five relics, which is, by the way, against Mr. Yo, no small, no small feat to get all five relics against a player who is notorious for the his ability to just gobble up the relics from all over the map. But with the multi-pronged attack, the absolute avian flight to the north, to the center, to the left, to the right, it is Mr. Yo, our Mayan, who rips the Frank apart and takes the W but GG to both players. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips and make sure to subscribe and enable notifications so that you're notified of my latest uploads.